Good day, Father Matt Williams here. Happy Monday, the fourth week of Lent. How's your Lent going? Hope it's going well. You can always begin again. I'm here at the Marian Community in Medway. We just finished a youth ministry retreat and sent home about 19 youth ministers on fire for the Lord to gain more territory back for the King of Kings. So, hope you're well. Today's Feast of St. Joseph. So, if we look at St. Joseph, he doesn't say one word in all of the Gospels. However, the role that he does play in the Gospels we see him as a man of action, as a man who is about carrying out the will of God. He receives Mary into his home after the betrothal. He takes the child and the Blessed Mother to Bethlehem for the census. He takes the, the child and the Blessed Mother to Egypt when the, the child's life is, is threatened. And then when after Herod dies, he takes baby Jesus and Blessed Mother ultimately to Nazareth for them to live. Joseph responds immediately to what God asked him to do. He is totally available. He's a man of few words as well. Doesn't say anything in the gospel. And I think there's a balance there that you and I need to really pay attention to. It's the balance between the silence, the interior, and the active, the exterior. St. Joseph gives us a great model. He's a man of few words. That means he's a man who listens to the Word of God. It also says he's a just man. The scripture says St. Joseph was a just man, which means that he put things in their right order. He sought to give people what was their due, to God first and then his neighbor. He wasn't inwardly focused. So being a just man, he was very attentive to his relationship with the Lord, fulfilling the law, going to the temple to worship God, being attentive to studying the, the Word of God and knowing, knowing his heritage, knowing the history of Israel. He was a man of radical interiorization, that he implemented the, the gospel, or he wouldn't have known the gospel at the time, he implemented the law into his life, and he sought to live it. And he was also a man who sought to take care of his neighbor. He was attentive to the needs of others. So that radical interiorization of the word of God, of attentiveness to the Lord, of seeking to do not his will, but the will of of the Lord, seeking to make himself as a gift to Jesus and Mary, made himself radically available to whatever God wanted him to do, to God's will. So the radical interiorization leads to a total availability to what God is asking, to God's will. And that's the balance between silence and action, between being and doing. And that's the tension that we have to strive for in our daily lives. That's why prayer is so important. Otherwise, we can get so busy about doing, 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 and not attentive to being. Remember, you're not a human doing. You're a human being. And a human being needs to first be where? Before their Lord at one in prayer, from which you and I are sent forth. So on this Feast of St. Joseph, Happy St. Feast Day, Happy St. Joseph's Feast Day, I invite you to make sure that you are holding in tension, you are holding in balance, because justice also means balance, that you're holding in balance prayer and works, attentiveness to your spiritual life and service in the name of the Lord. May God bless you. Please pray for me as I pray for you. Have a wonderful day. Until the next time, God bless.